I was not only a gay person, but that I should um, come out of my person and be, in a broader sense, aware of other gay people and their rights, too. Because Jose would say, uh, let's unite, you know. We, we must uh, uh, realize that the vice squad is here, that they're, they used to, at that time, they used to park their, uh, the vice squad in, in the 50s used to park their, their police cars outside of gay bars. There were only two or three gay bars in town at that time. And they used to take down the names of people when they entered. Uh, they used to come in and stand around and uh, just generally intimidate people and make people feel that they were less than human. And it was a, it was a frightening period. So I'm very stirred by this because at that time, there was nowhere to go for your freedom. And you were very much aware that there was no freedom, that your freedom was in the gay bar. But when you got out on the streets, you had to be Mr. Straight or Miss Straight. At that time, this was, a, this was strictly a men's bar. There were no women in the bar, as I recall. And, uh, but Jose would make these political comments about our rights as homosexuals. And at the end of them, at the end of every concert, he would have everybody in the room stand. And we would we'd put our arms around each other, and we would We would sing, God save us Nelly Queens. <laughs> now that sounds, I know you're very emotional about this, and it sounds very silly. But if you lived at that time and you were aware of the oppression coming down from the police department and from society, and that there was nowhere to turn, to be able to put your arms around other gay men and be able to stand up and say, God save us, Nelly Queens, we were really not saying, God save us, Nelly Queens. We were saying, we have our rights, too, is what we were really saying. 